others, uh, and not just a concern on the individual. And as we know, that the Quran mandates the Qasas laws, which is um, a law to settle uh, kind of strife or conflict between different tribes. And in some cases, when two tribes fight each other, you don't know who the murderer is, so that the, uh, the aggressor tribe has to basically uh, you know, pick individuals of which they will uh, be punished for the amount of individuals they killed in the victim tribe. So that's not, so not necessarily the person who actually committed the crime, or how, how would you know in a tribal fight, how would you know, is, is punished. So there, there's these kind of aspects. Um, we know again in the Quran that the successful individual is those who put others above themselves. Uh, in the uh, going to the Hadith narrative now, we see that the, the Muslims are like one body, it's the Ummah. Uh, Muller compares uh, Muslims as supporting bricks for building, uh, and of course, uh, Muller uh, says that the Muslims should wake up in their waking moments thinking of the affairs of the greater Ummah, so on and so, so forth. Some people have said also that uh, the Prophet Muhammad advocated individualism because he detached people from their tribes uh, that they used to follow. That's true, but then he created a new one, which is the Ummah, and so they were actually aggregated into a new uh, tribal affiliation. So, these aspects are just counter, uh, just some counter examples. We are individuals, and we are collectives, and we are so we are souls. To be even cursory understanding of the sign of the you know, the brain, the neuroscience. We have mirror neurons. We, we now that allows us to be emp empathic and feel other people's pain and, and suffering. So we're not actually uh, individuals any more than a cell is as part of the human body from one from one perspective. So uh, Islam embraces both the individual and the society, which makes it different from liberalism and different from communism. We're, we're in between. Is Islam rights or duties based belief? Well, look at liberalism. Liberalism starts out from the basis of rights first. But, it, but does this make rational sense if you think about it? The universe, nature, and if illusion, if you, if you believe in evolution, doesn't respect our rights to enjoy life uh, or even to live, uh, and doesn't even respect our rights to autonomy in many cases. So the universe, nature, everything around you, if you're basically on, on desert island with natural predators, are they going to respect your, your natural rights? To life, and if you don't, have, I mean, if they don't, then where is it in nature that you have this right? <laughs> Just think about it philosophically. Um, Allah does not treat us respecting our right to life or even pleasure. So he basically we suffer, and uh, you know, young ones die, and people with, with a liberal mindset say, "Oh, how?"